Aaron, what does it say about this team uh, to get another one of these wins in a close game like this, uh, considering it's now 71 games and your record is 48 and 23? You know, I would say one, they're really good players in there. Um, we're familiar in those situations. So I think, you know, they play with a lot of confidence in these close games. And, you know, I think the more you play in them, the more comfortable you get. You know, it's it's not always been easy or perfect, but these guys are really good at competing, uh, you know, especially when the game's in the balance. And and obviously we've lost some in, in those situations. We've lost some really tough ones, but I think these guys do a really good job of of not dwelling on it, being able to bounce right back. And, and some of our best wins have come out after some of our worst losses. So it was another case of the guys really, you know, competing really well, you know, credit to Oakland for kind of crawling back in and then the bullpen from there was able to really, really shut them down and allow us to, to put together a little bit of a rally there late. Early in the game, it was the two pitches to judge and uh, Gallo that, that really set everybody off. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, what about Jameson tonight? Uh, he's been lights out since July 6th. Yeah. Uh, probably one of your best starters since then. Yeah. Uh, what did you see out of him tonight? You know what? I thought stuff wise, you know, and, and mostly for me watching on TV. So I had the same view you had. I, I thought stuff wise, he was good. You know, I thought, I thought his curveball was good. I thought the fastball was playing. I thought the A's did a good job of, of, you know, putting together some really competitive at bats, especially in that fourth inning where they were able to work some walks. I thought Chapman had a really good at bat laying off a tough three, two pitch. Um, and then he made the mistake to, to Andrews on an O2 pitch, throwing a right down the middle that kind of, you know, cost him the outing a little bit there. Um, you know, I thought there were some times where he had a chance to gain some count leverage where he, you know, were some of his worst pitches. So that pitch where you're one, one, two, one, he was taking it to three, one and got in a little bit of trouble with that, but I don't think he was far off. Um, and I thought stuff wise, he was good. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. You can go next to Bruce Beck. Aaron, are you used to every game being like life and death with this ball? <laughs> <laughs> we, we are used to playing in these. Uh, Bruce, no question. Um, we've, we've by far and away, obviously played more than anyone else. So uh, the guys are definitely comfortable in these situations. And, um, you know, uh, there's never any panic with these guys. Um, you know, I think they, they play with a lot of confidence when the game's on the line and, and in the balance. And again, it doesn't mean you're always going to come through, but I know that they're not going to be uh, rattled or overwhelmed by any situation. How significant was the job that Holmes and Lewisica did for you? Yeah, it was great. I mean, Holmes coming in and, and shutting it down, uh, you know, really like he's done, you know, since he's gotten here to us, he was, he was great through those, those right-handed hitters. And then low, you know, going two innings right through the middle of their order, thought he threw the ball really well. Um, and then Chappie uh, finishing off and getting that 300 was, was everyone's very excited. Can you go next to Dan Martin? Aaron, just to get get Chapman that save and, and have him get out of that inning, um, you know, where, where do you think he is now uh, in terms of performance and, and confidence? Yeah, uh, look, I thought that was a big outing for him. Um, Matt and Hark, you know, uh, made some subtle adjustments with him today that, that I, I thought – Chappie did a good job. It was able to go out in his catch play and before the game and kind of work it out. And he took it into the game. And I thought he did a good job on the attack. Um, and, and really you saw him use his fastball tonight and not shy away from the fastball. And uh, I think the little subtle adjustment he made in his posture on the mound, I think really helped him. That he did stay away from that fastball in that in his previous outing, it seemed like. Was that a point of, of, um, yeah, I mean, you so I mean, that's, that that's one of it. I think not, not to shy away from that pitch. I mean, his, his slider is an important pitch for him. Obviously the split, he got a big strikeout on the split uh, to Canna through a real nasty one, but also remembering how, how great of a fastball that he has too, and, and making sure that, you know, that's a feature pitch for him as well. The next Eric 
Aaron, the way you guys scored that go-ahead run kind of emblematic of the way you guys have been playing the last month or so? Yeah, I mean, you know, great job by Riz of working the walk and then Waiter coming in for that moment, you know, to, you know, got a great jump, obviously steals it, gets to third, and then Judgey just putting together a really good uh, two-strike at bat to where, you know, he's able to stay in the big part of the field and, and dump one out there. Uh, just a really good at bat by him and, and a great job by waiter of being ready for that moment. No one, no one, you know, the, the matchup with, with Trevino and, and the catcher who throws well, um, knowing where he needed to get in his lead and getting a nice jump and, and turned out to be the difference. And then you, you said Gallo has had better at bats than what his numbers have suggested, but nice to see the results tonight, particularly on the, the three run homer. Yeah. I, and more great at bats tonight. I thought he probably should have walked even a couple more times. Um, but I, obviously really put a charge into one, getting ahead in the count and not missing one. So yeah, more good at bats and, and a lot of good results for Joey tonight. Can you go back to Dan Martin. Aaron, given the history of this team, you know, you've won 12 in a row. It's the first time since 1961. What does that say to you? Uh, we're, we're playing well. We're playing well. We're playing for a lot. And um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of this team.